Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kat, and I got a review for you guys tonight. But first, I uh, have a little rant that I want to say. Um, I don't usually, you know, um, do rants like this, but um, this really pissed me off. Um, as you guys know, I do a Sephora unboxing every month um, on this channel. I pay for it. It's not sponsored. They don't give me the box for free. I pay for it, and they, I've never had a problem with the um, subscription service. This month, since the 5th of June, they have, for some reason, my card had kept on getting rejected, and there was money on the card. So, um, after that happened, I called... And in one day, they like up. They just updated my information ten times in one day, and I had called every day since the fifth of June. And um, some people were telling me, "Oh no, it's gonna go through. Um, it's gonna, you know, the um, tracking number just doesn't show up right away," which is complete BS because I you get the tracking number right away and then they tell you, you know, two weeks later that they're going to send it to you. So basically then I put a different card in which also had money they didn't take. For some reason that card wouldn't take either. And then I tried using PayPal and for some reason couldn't do it through PayPal. Now through um, de uh, deduction of reasoning it's not PayPal that I'm having the problem with because I called them and asked them why can't I do this? They, why can't I make a payment, you know, through Sephora? And they said it ha it's something with Sephora. They're blocking your ability to uh, buy whatever you're trying to buy. Um, they kept on rejecting my, um, card when I put it in the, um, actual subscription, um, thing, and then I kept on calling them, and they said, oh, we, you know, keep on trying your card, and we keep on getting it rejected, and I'm saying, yes, I keep, I know that's what's happening, but my bank says there's money on the card, why is this happening? They haven't been able to give me a, um, any explanation of why this is happening. They just tell me to change my address and make sure that, you know, the address on the card and on um, my profile are the same, which I haven't had a problem for seven months. I've been using the same card. There shouldn't be a problem. So, um, after all of this, um, I woke up and I found that they canceled my subscription. So, I re-signed up, so I will not be doing a Sephora unboxing, um, this month. And I'm really disappointed in their, um, customer service. I spoke to literally, um at least 15 different people since June 5th. Sorry, I'm looking at my um, calendar. June 5th, and I tried them on Twitter. I spoke to them online. I've tried them, like, through their app. I tried reaching them every way, and they just kept on repeating themselves. I got no help from them, and... Um, Basically, this month I uh, got screwed out of the box. They canceled my subscription, and I just um, had to reset up the subscription. I'm thinking maybe I might not keep it, and I might go with BoxyCharm, um, because I was thinking of trying BoxyCharm out, and I think maybe that's a sign that... Um, uh, I should dump Sephora Play and uh, go on to BoxyCharm because at least with BoxyCharm you get full size products and um, I don't know, the boxes seem to be really good from all the unboxings that I watched. So, um, rant over, just wanted to get that off my chest because 
I don't know why the hell, um, and there's no way to do payment over the phone, so it wasn't like I could give my card to someone on the phone and, you know, make a payment. You can only do it online, and that's the only way, and for some reason, you know, they just wouldn't accept my money this month, and, uh, I think it's ridiculous that, um, that happened, and customer service was literally no help. So, rant over, um, oh, and if you're wondering what my shirt says, it says, I'm a pandycorn. So, I just thought that was a really cute shirt. Uh, let me... I'll sit up a little more. See, it says I'm a pandy corn. I just saw, thought that shirt was really cute when I uh, saw it at the store. So, um, rant over and let's get into what the video is today. So, if we all remember, um, April uh, 1st, April Fool's Day, Tarte, uh, put out a really cool palette called the Icy Bitch Palette, and when I saw that palette, I was like, oh my god, I want that palette. And then, uh, we all find out that it's an April Fool's joke, and it was the stupidest April Fool's joke ever, because Tarte lost a whole new different, um bunch of customers who would have bought their makeup because they were like, yes, this is what I want from Tarte. I want colorful, pigmented, different shadows. Like that um, fairy princess collection they just came out with. What the hell is that? Like that eyeshadow palette, it looks like it's a blush and highlight palette. The colors are pretty, but I own them already, and it just looks like a blush um, palette. And then that Aspen Ovard palette, um, can we say like 10 shades of like mauve and brown? Because that's basically what it was. So, um,. Tarte's really been, you know, on my shit list. The only thing that, um, like, I really, really like from them is the Shape Tape Concealer, um, and, um, I have a few palettes from them that I like, but besides that, um, I really haven't been buying from Tarte recently. So let's get into what this video is actually about. Um, there is... Um, an app called Shop Hush. It's very well known for selling um, usually dupe palettes, but they're not. Um, they have all the same colors, but they don't name it the same, and maybe they'll rearrange the colors dif differently, but you know what palette that it's trying to imitate. So there, there is a um, company called Face Candy, and they came out with the Atlantis palette. So this is what the box looks like. It's a beautiful blue shades, and then in gold you have Atlantis, and it's uh, 12 colors. It is cruelty free, which is really cool. Um, and then you get. 12 colors, like I said, you do get a nice mirror. I don't want to blind you guys, but you do get a mirror. And then you get these beautiful colors. And this, I compared um, pictures of this to what the Icy Bitch uh, would have looked like, and they're pretty close. So, um... This is so cool that I have, like, editing software and, like, a new camera and all this stuff to play with. I'm getting used to it slowly, so bear with me, guys, if um, my editing is a little weird at first. I haven't done video editing in, like, uh, it's been at least, like, 15 years um, since I've done any type of like video editing or stuff like that. But um, this palette I think is amazing. It was $14 and if you get it on the Shop Hush um, app, 
no matter what you buy, there is um, no sales tax. So you can buy one thing that's like $5, no sales tax. And they were pretty fast. Um, I ordered this on... Excuse me, I ordered this la uh, last Monday or Tuesday, and I got it by Friday. Yeah, I got this by Friday, so this came really fast. Um, let me do some swatches. I am wearing it on my eyes, so um, I usually wouldn't wear this much blue. I kind of feel like Mimi from uh, Drew Carey. But it is such a beautiful palette. It's very pigmented, which is awesome. Um, with the mattes, they can be a little powdery, so I would just watch out with that. And then the um, shimmers are very soft, so just don't dig your brush in there. And um, I would do your eyeshadow first because because the mattes can be um, powdery and give you fallout. So that's the only two drawbacks that I have with this palette. So let me do some swatcheroos for you. So this, and they do all have names, as you can see. So I'm doing the bottom row first. This is the colors. And that is just one swipe around the pan and these are so pretty this light silvery color right here that's what I have on my lid I just patted it on with my finger um, with these shimmers um, they work better if you use um, your fingers or if you use like a flat synthetic um, brush so those are the best ways to um, wear the, um, the, the shimmers okay so the next row that's what the next row is I have this in uh in my crease and then i put a different uh, another color on top of it to just intensify the color a little bit but these are so pigmented so this is the second row so as you can see these are all really beautiful cool tone um green and uh blue shades it um from the pictures that um, Tarte put out, um, and like I said, I will put um, a comparison picture up, don't worry, um, of what the two look like. This looks pretty close, and I also want to try the Divina Cosmetics um, one that came out. I forgot what the price of that one is, but I've been going a little crazy with uh, makeup recently, so um, I do have to calm it down. Um, okay, so this is the last, the top row, which is mostly mattes. So I have this, um, this, sorry, this bluish greenish color on top of that um, blue-gray periwinkle color. So I think it's a great palette. Um, I would, you could totally get, um, you know, um, one look from this palette, but um, I think it's a good supplemental palette um, for, um, I mean, yeah, if you want an all blue or all green, very cool tone look, this palette is perfect for that. But this is also a really good supplemental palette where um, if you're not comfortable wearing color like this, you can just throw like um, a brown or um, 
a different color that's not as bright and bold in the crease and then put one of these shimmers on and it would look really good. So let me just do the math breakdown for you guys and um, yeah. So the palette cost uh, $14. There are um, coupon codes you can get out there for 10% uh, off. I didn't use it for this order, but um, I did get a free highlighter since it was my first time uh, using the service. So it's this clean colors baked um, highlighter. It is very pretty. Tap it on the, my cheek. So it's a very pretty kind of like iridescent duochrome kind of uh, shade. It's um, Clean Colors Baked Highlighter. I'll leave the name of all the products that I mentioned uh, down below. And the color is Pearl. Um, I think this was like $4 or no, it came in like a pack of four for $8 or something. Um, but yeah, that came free. But um, you can find um, codes for 10% off. Um, I have bought some other stuff from uh, Shop Hush since I bought this palette and um, I have used those codes. And there's also another really cool thing with their app that they have um, Hush coins that basically every purchase you make goes towards your account and it's basically free money that you can use. Um, on the site so you know you save your points up you can buy free makeup and they also have like um once a day a button where it gives you a random amount of um hush coins so um this video was not sponsored or anything um uh yeah let me just get through what the uh, mathematical breakdowns of everything is so, uh, like I said, the palette was $14, which makes um, it $1.17 per pan. Um, the total net weight was 12 grams or 0.42 ounces, so that's 1 gram per pan or 0 0.04 ounces per pan. and it breaks down to $14 um, a gram and $350 per ounce. So um, I hope you guys liked the uh, video. Sorry about the uh, rant about the Sephora play that just really pissed me off. And um, the fact that like I didn't get a straight answer and for the first like week and a half they kept on telling me oh it's going through don't worry it'll show up you'll get your information you'll get the box and they end up canceling my subscription but at least I was able to um re-sign up for it so um I don't know if I'm gonna stay with Sephora Play after um we'll see what the July box is and um I might just do that one, cancel the subscription, and move on to BoxyCharm. So thank you so much for uh, watching this video and um, looking at what um, Tarte's biggest mess up was. And, um, you know, I think so many people would have bought that palette from Tarte, but now there are other companies that are making it and for a lot less because Tarte probably would have sold that palette for between like $45 and $50. I paid $14 and the, um, the, my brain is like, the, the quality, the quality of the shadows is really good, so I would definitely check them out. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will have another video for you guys tomorrow. 
Um, like I said, I've been doing so much hauling and shopping. Um, I'll probably do um, an update of my haul that I did um, like two, three weeks ago or show you or do another haul. Actually, I should probably do the update and then show you the other stuff that I hauled. Um, I'll figure it out, but there will be a video up tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for listening to my rant and um, hopefully you guys uh, like the eyeshadow palette. Um, I know that this look exactly isn't everybody's cup of tea, but you don't have to wear your makeup this way. But I just wanted to show that, yes, you can use all the colors of the palette on your eyes. So um, have a good night and I will leave all the info of the uh, products that I talked about and I will speak to you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.